Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and this is the second lecture on gender toxicology. And in this lecture, we'll be discussing cause and effect relationship. When we want to confirm the poisoning and establish the cause and effect relationship, certain specific and highly sensitive tests should have been performed. So, cause is the poison and effect. what are the signs and symptoms which is produces so a lot of studies about the dose about the amount about the route of administration they have to be performed to confirm the to establish the cause and effect relationship and for that purpose we have to isolate that means first we have to isolate the poison or the drug then identify what it is then quantitate how much amount it is present within the body and then about the toxic components composition or toxic amount in the biological fluids and the tissues then we can establish the cause and effect relationship within human body that means first we have to isolate then identify isolate from the fluids or the tissues then identify what it is in which quantity it is and in which toxic amount it is present within the uh, human body then the role of intent is important what was the intent with which this compound was given whether the purpose of this compound was for the medicine purpose for the treatment purpose or was the intent was to produce the harm within the body so the role of intent is very important so when we talk about the toxic substance that means a poisonous or toxic compound is any chemical that is capable of producing detrimental effects on the human body that means damaging effects any chemical when substituted whatever is the root externally or the internally is capable of producing damage to the human body and poison commonly is defined as a substance which when administered inhaled or swallowed that means whatever is the cap a uh, root of administration is capable of acting deleteriously on the human body and these toxic compounds the detrimental effects or the damaging effects either in the form of structural components either they damage the uh, structural components that is physical damage or they interfere with the functional process the physiological process so the two types of detrimental effects on the human body either it produces the structural damage physical damage or it produces the functional derangements interfering with the physiology of various systems so these two are the detrimental effects when the poison or drug in toxic compound is substituted in the human body and this will result in either injury or it can produce death so thus almost everything can be a poison at a given dose and depending upon the route of administration so that means a drug which is for the treatment purpose if it is introduced in the toxic amount that can produce toxicity so anything can be a poisonous at a given dose depending upon the route of administration and there is no boundary between medicine and a poison so this is very important substance that we cannot identify we cannot put a boundary because anything can be a poison and any poison can be used as medicine depending upon its therapeutic dose but on the other hand any drug 
which is for the treatment purpose in toxic compound that can become a poison. So there is no boundary between medicine or a poison. So a medicine in toxic dose become a poison and a poison in a small dose in a therapeutic dose can act as a medicine. For example, we know the uh, oxygen, the salt, the water. When the oxygen is in the normal concentration of the uh, mixture in the air, it is uh, physiological and it doesn't harm. But if it is 100% or it is more concentrated, then it can produce toxicity. Similarly, when about we talk about the salt, when we talk about the water, when there is excessive water, more than the concentration which is required in the human body that can become toxic. So the real difference between the medicine and a poison is the dose and the intent. That means the dose. The dose is the therapeutic or the dose is the toxic. Then the intent. The intent of the person who is substituting it either his intention is to treat the patient or his intention is to kill with the medicine or treat with the poison. So the dose and the intent is very important and this is within which it is given. So when we talk about the drug, a drug is a substance used to prevent or cure a disease or any ailment or to alleviate any symptoms. So the drugs is for the therapeutic purpose. Whereas the poison, any substance can cause severe organic damage or death if it is ingested, breathed in, that is inhaled or injected into the body or absorbed through the skin. So whether it is used through internal or external roots. So any substance which can cause the detrimental effects is a poison. So what is the difference between medicine and a poison? Again, when we talk about the toxicity, a compound can be toxic and a compound can be non-toxic. We cannot segregate. As I told you earlier, we cannot segregate the toxic and the non-toxic compound because many toxic compounds can be given in sub-toxic or therapeutic dose without any harm or without any symptoms of the toxicity. And when we talk about the acute exposure, what does it mean? Acute exposure, many people consider that poisoning to start at the moment the exposure occurs. That the moment you introduce the uh, drug or the chemical, the poisoning starts and the symptom starts appearing. But it is not. It is actually, when we talk about the ex acute exposure, it means either it is a single toxic dose or a multiple subtoxic dose within 24 hours. And this is the dose which is required to produce the toxic symptom. That is the acute exposure. And when we consider a chemical to be a toxic, and how much amount of the substance is to be ingested to produce the toxic symptoms. This we determine from its toxicity values. And how we determine it? These are the values of the chemicals which produce the toxic effects or biological symptoms whenever they reach a critical concentration in the tissues. So that means this has been determined by various experiments that what can be, we study it on the animals, that what is the amount, what are the values of those chemicals which we study are capable of producing toxic effects on the biological systems, either toxic effect will be the structural damage or the toxic effect will be the functional derangements 
and that critical concentration is called as the toxic value. So this is determined with experimentation. And this is how we determine toxicity, toxicity rating scales. These are the scales which determine the how much dose, how much amount is required to produce the toxic symptoms. So toxicity rating scales are for a particular product or particular chemical, it is the scale or the chart which provides a qualitative figure describing the severity of the expected toxicity of that compound. So that means it tells us about the toxic dose of that particular compound at which it produces toxicity. So this is a scale, this is a chart which tells us the amount about uh, of that poison about toxicity. ED50, this is basically effective dose 50. That means the dose that represents the concentration of chemicals required to produce therapeutic response in 50% of the experimental animals who are exposed to it. That means a group of animal is exposed to certain chemicals and the dose or the level at which the fixed 50 percent of the animals under expect experimentation show the therapeutic effects which are required for that particular drug. That is known as effective dose 50. And when we talk about LD50 that is a lethal dose 50. This means that the dose that produces 50% of the toxic effect, that the toxic effects in 50% of the experimental animals. So that is lethal dose 50. The dose of a particular compound or component of the chemical which is capable of producing 50% of the deaths under experimentation of under animals which are under experimentation and that is the lethal dose of that particular drug. So that is LD50. Now from these two values, effective dose 50 and lethal dose 50 we determine the therapeutic index. And what is therapeutic index? Therapeutic index is determined from the lethal dose and the effective dose 50 and this is how we determine the therapeutic index and therapeutic index is a ratio. It's a ratio of LD50 to ED50. It gives you the margin of safety of a chemical. That means from therapeutic dose to the lethal dose. That means for example a chemical or a drug is capable of producing its therapeutic effects at the dose of 50 mg per kg but it becomes toxic at 80 mg per kg. So from 50 to 80, 30 mg is the margin of safety. So that is the therapeutic index. LD50 to ED50 ratio is the therapeutic index. Lethal dose 50 over effective dose 50 that gives us the margin of safety. So if the LD50 curves shift towards the left, that is from 80 milligram it becomes 70 milligram. So the margin of safety from 50 to 70 that is reducing. So if the LD50 curve shift from right to the left, the therapeutic index is smaller. It means the compound has reduced the margin of safety and it becomes more toxic. So if the LD50 curves shift toward the right, that means at higher dose it is lethal, then the therapeutic index is larger. That means that compound has greater margin of safety and it is less toxic. So this is the therapeutic index which gives us the margin of safety from effective dose 50 to lethal dose 50. So this is a chart which is uh, showing the uh, percentage of effectiveness of uh, various uh, uh, certain drug and 
uh, the horizontal axis showing the dose in milligrams 20 milligram 20 60 80 and 100 milligram and on the left side the y axis is showing the uh, percentage effectiveness 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent and 100 percent and the toxic so you can see the effective dose 100 percent effective dose at 40 milligram whereas at 80 milligram it becomes a lethal dose which is the toxic dose so this is the toxicity rating scale which determines the effective dose and the lethal dose so this is the uh, chart which is showing the therapeutic index you can see the percentage of animals showing the effective dose 50 ed50 and ld50 so 25 percent of animals 50 percent of experimental animals 75 percent and 100 percent you can see that at 60 milligram of a particular drug in milligram 60 milligrams the 50 percent of experimental animals showing the 50 percent of the therapeutic uh, the therapeutic effects so that means ed50 so 50 percent of the animals showing the therapeutic effects that is the ed50 whereas at 100 milligram the 50 percent of the experimental animals showing the toxic effect or the lethal effect. So this is the LD50. So you can see from 60 milligram up to 100 milligram that is the margin of safety. And when the LD50 curve is shifted toward the left, that means you are reducing the margin of safety. And when it is shift toward the right, that from 100 to it becomes 120, that means you are increasing the margin of safety. So this is the therapeutic index, LD50 over ED50. That is the effective dose 50 and the lethal dose 50. So it shows us the margin of safety. That is the therapeutic index. So thank you very much. This is all about the second lecture. We'll continue the gender toxicology in the next lecture. Take care, Allah Hafiz.